Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray Star Goddess and we're going to do your what to expect in the month of June. This is a collective reading. This is for all signs. Personal readings are available. Email me at divinelyguided2 at gmail.com. Check out my course, Learn to Row for Beginners. It's on udemy.com. Everything else will be down in the description box below this reading. So let's jump into it. Spirit, give me messages for the collective. What should the collective expect to see in the month of June? Spirit, what the collective, what should the collective expect to see in the month of June? What is coming in for the collective for the month of June, Spirit? Four of Wands. So, collective, y'all could be celebrating. Y'all could be going out with family, friends, um, shit, co-workers. I see in the month of June, you could be um, enjoying yourself, having a good time. You could be going out, you know, maybe brunch, lunch, dinner, um, just outings, concerts, events. Just enjoying yourself, drinking, turning up, just enjoying yourself. Somebody could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Knight of Swords with the Queen of Swords. So, collective, um, be aware of this because if you're having a good time, I feel like somebody could be upset. The Knight of Swords, this is my war ready card. This is my beat your ass first and ask questions later, right? <laughs> so with the four of wands, with my beat your ass first and ask questions later, be aware. So collective, if you're in a relationship, be aware of like having a jealous partner. Be aware of your partner being upset that you're going out, ha hanging out with friends, enjoying yourself. I heard without them. Be aware of this. If you're in some type of commitment, situationship, um, yeah, relationship, marriage, whatever. I see like your spouse or your partner, your companion is feeling some type of way that you outside in June. And then another message I'm getting collective, if you're not in a relationship, I do feel as though it's someone in the background upset that you're enjoying yourself and um whoever this person is like if you're single and you're separated from this person they feel as though you should be at home crying behind this breakup crying behind this uh this separation right but by this person see you enjoying yourself with family, friends, co-workers, I feel like I heard set of, over the edge. This going to set this person over the edge. And then this is some more tea. Whoever's going to be set over the edge because you're out enjoying yourself and having fun, I feel like they're a mother. It could be a mother, a aunt. Um, it's definitely a woman that's older than your person. So, um, it could be like an older sister, an older cousin. I heard around the same age. So, either this woman is basically like a family member of whoever's going to be angry with you. It's like their family member or it could be like a friend of theirs. But I'm picking up a, I'm picking up a, a older woman, a mother, grandmother, cousin an older sister or maybe they have like a female best friend a female cousin or some shit they okay so whoever this family member or friend to the person that's going to be upset with you they gonna like turn their back towards this person because they already know like the family member or the friend they already know why i heard spazzing out they already know why y'all person that y'all separated from or if you in a relationship with this person the family member or friend already know why this person is spazzing out why this person is upset so they feel like you know what i don't want to have no parts of that you know <laughs> you upset with them okay you know keep me out of it i don't want to have nothing to do with what's going on i heard another episode somebody about to have like another episode so this episode could be them lashing out 
um, towards you or towards like a family member or friend and whoever this family member is, it, it's like, you know what? They wash their hands with this situation with your person by having these types of episodes because like y'all not together and you know, it's like one person is upset while the other person is enjoying themselves and having fun. And I feel like, you know, that's going to set this person over the edge in the month of June. Be aware of this. That's what's going on. Somebody could be getting advice in the month of June. Somebody's going to be angry. Somebody might be upset with like a... So another message I'm getting, somebody might get upset with, with like a, a friend group or with a friend, with a lover, right? And this person's going to seek advice from another person. I have this out here too. Somebody need to be aware. Somebody may get upset at like an event. So no, this is like a whole nother message I'm getting. Somebody may get upset at an event. Like some shit may pop off. Like um, <laughs> if it's going to be something like, say if a, uh, like a group of friends Ubered somewhere and, you know, they split the fare. They split the cost for this Uber. And everybody sent their money except for one person. This gonna start like a conflict. Or um, like somebody could be unfair about something. This has, uh, uh, okay, so this message I'm picking up on, this gonna happen at like, while y'all out having fun. Somebody gonna get upset with like a, maybe a friend or like a lover or be aware somebody gonna be out having fun and your person gonna text you starting some shit. They gonna text you or call you starting some shit. <laughs> I got this out here too. And they, it's gonna be something, y'all be aware of this, it's gonna be something like somebody gonna, if social media is involved, somebody gonna get on Facebook, Instagram, they're going to see your post of you having fun, drinking, turning up with your friends while this person is at home. Or they could be at, like, their mother house, their grandma house, their cousin house, right? So the cousin sitting on the couch and your person, they sitting next to your cousin. So they get on Instagram, Facebook, stalking, stalking your page. They see you out having fun. They're going to call you. And they're going to purpose, I don't know who this is for, but they're going to purposely call you while you out drinking at a concert, at some type of event. They're going to purposely call you because they know in this moment in time, you out right now. Somebody, be aware somebody calling you to fuck up your joy. <laughs> fuck up your joy, your happiness, or they're going to text you. And while this is going on, the family member... Or like a friend sitting next to them or they all in at the same house and they like, you know what? Mm -mm. I don't got time for that. I don't want no parts of it. Be aware of this. This for somebody. It could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, um, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini person involved. Well, it don't have to be, but that's what I have out here. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. So, yeah, be aware of this. Somebody, okay. So, group one, if you in some type of partnership, connection already, um, I feel like it's going to be some type of conflict. Or your person going to try to start some shit with you, right? And they're going to go back and tell what's going on in y'all relationship to like a family member or a friend and i feel like the family member or a friend to y'all person they're gonna give them advice like you know what they're gonna say some shit like you know what you know if you if you love them you know it's okay they should be able to have a good time without you you need to trust them 
Look, we got the, the queen of swords with the ten of cups. You need to trust them. You know, it's okay. Y'all don't have to um, be under each other 24-7. They allow to have friends. They allow to enjoy themselves. It's, it's okay. Stop being possessive. You know, it's going to be somebody in their ear giving them advice on y'all situation. That's uh, that's group one if y'all together or if y'all already have some type of situationship going on with somebody. And then group two, if you're separated from this person, the family member or the friend, they're going to be with this person and they're going to see that this person is upset that, you know, you having fun without them or whatever. And this friend or family member going to give your personal advice like, you know what, you know, instead of, you know, arguing with them, you know, just, you know, try to reconcile with them, you know, try to get them back. This ain't helping your situation. You mad because they out having fun with their friends. This ain't helping your situation. If you, if you want them, you know, let them know that. You don't have to yell or you don't have to be combative. You don't have to text them talking crazy. Just, just let them know how you feel. Go get, go after what you want. If you want to be with them, then be with them. And and if y'all was together, maybe you would have been with them while they was at this concert or while they was out with their friends. You could have been with them. But since you're so busy being angry with them all the time, yeah, it's going to be something like somebody going to be giving y'all person advice. I have this out here too. It's time for you to step up. Look, two of cups. I know what I'm talking about, man. I know what I'm talking about. Group one, if you are already in some type of connection, if you already got something going on, I feel like your relationship is going to improve. Group two, I, I get like reconciling. You may recon reconcile with somebody, but, but um, the energy I'm picking up on, this is definitely not new love. I, I feel like y'all already know this person or well acquainted with this person. I already slept with this person. Um, but I, I'm getting like reconciling. So in the month of June, y'all may reconcile with somebody or your relationship. I, I feel, I see like a relationship getting repaired or, um, y'all coming cl together or yeah, like things are improving in a relationship, but just know the reason why y'all relationship improved and the reason why y'all reconcile, cause I feel like it was a woman in y'all person ear. But this woman was giving y'all person good counsel, good advice. That's some game. Yeah, I'm getting like reconciliation. And then collective, like, be aware of whoever you reconciling with. Because whoever you reconciling with, I feel like whatever they did to you previously... It was really some bullshit. Like, they really betrayed you. They really, like, hurted you to the core. To where it, you feel like, you know what, the shit is done. It's over with. Like, the point of no return. Either you felt that way or your person, this person felt that way. Like, you know what, it's, the shit is done. Me and Collective would never get back together. Like, it, it would never happen. But I do feel like it's a woman in your person's ear and this woman will be one of the main reasons why y'all reconciled and got together or a relationship is improving in the month of June. I have this out here too. Somebody could be telling another person like, hey, you should go out. Maybe you should go out, enjoy yourself, have fun. Um, so if y'all go out, be aware of meeting somebody, whoever you meet, they got anger issues or something wrong with them. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting like, they could be, they could have anger issues. Be aware of meeting someone that got anger issues. But the T is that with them, they gonna end up liking you. They have some type of issues, but I'm strongly leaning towards anger issues or... Um, something wrong with this person. 
But the T is that this person's going to end up liking y'all, and they're going to end up, like, pillow talking. Not pillow talking, but they're going to end up telling, like, they big sister. They big sister, they little sister, they mom, they dad, whoever. They're going to end up telling a woman, like, hey, I met Collective out at a concert, at a bar. I kind of like them. And this woman going to say, well, you know, the last chick that you brung around, you know, um, you did them dirty. So if you, you know, if you think Collective is the one, you need to do right by them. You need to do this and that, this and that, this and that. Well, so, okay, so this is a whole nother mess. So this could be a new love. Because I remember earlier I said, nah, this is not a, not a new love, but... Group three, from what I'm seeing, this could be a new love. Group three. Yeah, so from what I'm seeing, group three, you may meet somebody out. And just know this person, um, they have some type of issues going on. They could have maybe a self-esteem issues. Anger issues. They confused about something. Or they could be confused about their feelings towards you. In the month of June, collective be aware. I feel like y'all gonna be going to like multiple places in a day. Like y'all gonna meet up with one home girl at for for brunch right and then once you leave that home girl you're gonna meet like a cousin of yours around three or four and then after that you're gonna meet another home girl later on that night somebody gonna be busy in the month of june but back to this person um yeah, I do feel like this person got something going on with them. Whoever this person is, they, um, I feel like they're impulsive. This person, they impulsive. They wear designer. They like, they could like uh, red bottoms or they like designer tennis shoes or something. Um, this person could be dark skin. This person could wear like hoodies or they like wearing hoodies, fitty caps. They like wearing shorts. They could like motorcycles, slingshots, two-seater type of cars. I feel like this person, they wear a watch on their right arm. No, they could wear it on their left arm. Whoever this person is. But yeah. They got issues, but I feel like a family member, you know, gonna try to talk some sense into y'all person. Cause either y'all gonna meet somebody out or this is like old love or y'all already with this person. Whatever group you belong to is definitely an older woman giving them advice. Let me pull one more. That's the on period. We have three of swords. So another mess. So this is like a whole nother message. Group. So this is group four. Group four, um, I do see infidelity out here. We have the Ten of Cups with the Three of Swords. Group four, um, I have like a broken home, a broken home, a broken relationship, a broken family. Um, uh, yeah, I have cheating, infidelity going on.
if these are lesbians, if these are lesbians or, you know, gays, men, I see a third party out here within like a same sex relationship. I see somebody definitely cheating in the LGBTQ community. That's on game. Especially if these are like, again, like white, maybe a white lesbian couple or a white gay couple, Hispanic, Mexican, from another um, ethnic group. I have infidelity out here in the month of June. But whoever's doing the cheating, I, I feel like this person is something wrong with this person. They got issues. Another message I'm getting, somebody could be having issues with their, you know, with their sexual orientation or something. Because I do see, like, like, for example, it's going to be like a lesbian couple together and somebody going to cheat with, like, a man. Or it's going to be, like, two men together and the T is that somebody going to be cheating with a woman. I have this out here, too. Or, like, it's going to be, but I'm not picking up, like, a like a man and a woman and then, like, the man is cheating with another man. I'm not picking that up. I'm strongly picking up on, like, same-sex relationships and somebody going to be cheating outside the relationship with, like, the opposite sex. So it's going to be, like, two lesbians cheating and one of them cheating with a man. And then, like, it's going to be two lesbians together and then they're going to be cheating with, like, another another lesbian. Like, I have this out here that I'm picking up on in the month of June. And then I'm going to throw this out here. And then this is for heterosexual relationships. It's like somebody going to be cheating. Like it's going to be like a husband and wife and the, the husband cheating with another woman. Or like the woman cheating on, with, the, uh, with another man or something. Yeah, I have this out here too in the month of June. Then another message I'm getting, be aware of being out, having fun, and trying to, you know, enjoy yourself with your friends. But somebody's going to be upset, especially if you're in a relationship. If you're in a relationship already, be aware of being upset, even though you're supposed to be out enjoying yourself because of what's going on within your relationship. Somebody relationship, so this is another message. Somebody relationship could be falling apart as we speak, but they could be trying to ignore it. They could be trying to ignore, it's like the signs is in somebody's face or they know for a fact that the, the girlfriend, boyfriend, husband and wife, husband or wife are cheating. Like, they know this for a fact. They know this deep down. But they don't want to, like, confront their lover or they don't want to talk about it. They want to, like, go out and have fun to, like, distract themselves from what's going on within, like, their relationship. But whoever I'm picking up on, I feel like this shit not going to work. Because it, it's like whoever... How somebody feel, they feel like, you know what, fuck it. I'm about to just go out with my friends, have fun with my friends. I don't even care about what's going on. Whoever this person is, they're going to start drinking. And that's all they're going to be thinking about is that relationship. And they're going to be mad. Somebody needs to be aware of this in the month of June. That's some gang. That's all I have for this reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.